Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Tuesday, June the 11th, and we have some exciting news about the Disney Skyliner. I'm here at Disney's Pop Century and Art of Animation Resorts, where they have uncovered all of the gondolas here now. So every single gondola is uncovered. Heading back and forth between the Caribbean Beach and the Pop Century and Art of Animation Station. So can't wait to turn you around so you guys can check this out, and we're going to have a lot of fun here today because they are absolutely gorgeous. So the gondolas look absolutely breathtaking over Hourglass Lake. It's a little later in the evening, so we don't have that, that sunshine to have a nice reflection in the water, but they still look absolutely fantastic. I'm really glad that they uncovered them all. There's a beautiful Peter Pan right there. I haven't seen anything completely new yet, uh, besides that Zootopia gondola that I've spotted the other day. I did see a yellow Pirates of the Caribbean gondola, which the only one I've seen so far is the red one over at Hollywood Studios. But the, uh, the yellow one looks pretty cool. Here's the, the red Pirates one coming by right now. And you can see they're coming in from the Caribbean Beach Station. You can just see the top of the station, just over the fence line there through the trees. There's the yellow pirates right there. There's a Toy Story one. I don't recall seeing the Toy Story, so that's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. So you got the aliens on the back. Get a bit of a different angle here. Heading down into the station. This looks beautiful. I've really been looking forward to this over Hourglass Lake. I truly think this is the, the prettiest spot for the gondolas to go over, over the water, to not only see them going over the water, but to ride in them going over the water too, I think it's just gonna be outstanding. Here's Stitch. That's definitely a fan favorite so far as the Stitch. He's on the other side licking the glass. He's got the mustard colored one, this uh, bluish teal color, and the brighter yellow coming in. I really like the bright yellow. And then we got Finding Nemo, an orange Finding Nemo coming in behind there. That's a perfect one to see over the water. Looks like he got squirt on the front. And the octopus, oh, I forget his name. He's from Finding Dory. Maybe that's a, I guess that'd be a Finding Dory and not just a Finding Nemo. There's the Ratatouille. This is so beautiful. You can really see they're putting a lot of weight on the gondolas too. Right through the center, there's a lot of sag in that haul rope. Right when they're coming over those two towers right there, you can see there's a lot of sag. So they really have these gondolas weighted down pretty heavy. They're doing uh, pretty much a full load test. So they're just inching closer and closer to, to start putting uh, cast members and guests on board, so should be interesting to watch. There's Winnie the Pooh, a green Winnie the Pooh. Haven't seen that yet. They've all been yellow so far. I think it looks good with the yellow. It's like a honey pot. Got 
two more characters coming towards us here. Looks like Beauty and the Beast. And then Peter Pan as well. Got uh, Wendy, John, and Michael on the front. Got a lot of people starting to gather around now to, to watch the gondolas, which is awesome. I love when people get excited when they see them. And we got Smee on the back. Yeah, there's Coco. There's a good one. Try to get some different angles of the gondolas here for you. A little bit higher. Maybe a purple Beauty and the Beast coming here in the distance. There we go. There's that Finding Dory going back on the other side. Looks like Nemo and Dory on the side. All right, I'd love to see these gondolas from up above. Get a really good look at the characters now. Look at how beautiful that Beauty and the Beast is. There's Kristoff and Sven coming in. They look so beautiful from this angle. They're very shiny. They're, they look shinier from up here. Clarabelle cow. There's the Moana one coming through the trees. That is so beautiful. I could stay here all night and do this. You can watch them go back and forth and back and forth. They're so beautiful. There's the red pirates. There's that green Winnie the Pooh coming back around again. So you can see the, the speed that they travel. This is gonna be definitely easily less than a two minute trip from between Pop and uh, Art and the Caribbean beach. I love that Toy Story, Woody and Jesse on the side. There's that Zootopia one that we spotted. So there, there's the two newest ones, that Toy Story, and then the Zootopia one right here as well, this beautiful yellow one. You can see all the hamsters on the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous from up here. Another beautiful angle as we head around Hourglass Lake. So many gorgeous views as you walk around the lake. So many picture opportunities. This is just amazing through here. There's the Red Pirates going over towards the station right now. So I'm walking around Hourglass Lake and it looks like I found the permanent home for the water evacuation pontoon boat that they have here for Hourglass Lake. This is what they're gonna to use to evacuate guests if need be. 
out of the gondolas over the water. Uh, if you haven't seen my video, uh, I have them actually building this boat here at uh, Pop Century and Art of Animation. I will put a link in the description below so you can check that out. It's very, very cool. But this is where they're going to park it. Um, hopefully they will never have to use it, but if they do, they would basically just pull it out onto Hourglass Lake and that would go underneath the gondolas and guests can very easily just step out onto these platforms here. Another great shot of the water evacuation pontoon boat from the other side and it just looks really really cool and this is absolutely totally custom built for our glass lake here to to evacuate gondolas if need be so just really cool to see i'm glad they have it parked here and like i said hopefully they'll never have to use it but it's nice to know that they do have a way to evacuate guests out of these gondolas if uh, the need arises Looks like they've stopped the gondolas for now. Uh, they may actually be stopping them for the evening, but we're still gonna walk around Hourglass Lake here. We'll take a look at the station. I haven't been here in a while to see the station, so curious to see what the progress is there. Station looks really nice from the side. Looks pretty well complete. Uh, I'm still assuming that they're gonna take these two white buildings down. There's one on this side and the other side. I think that's just for construction use and testing purposes right now. The concept art does not show those buildings as being there, so. I'm hoping they're gonna take them down in the end. Uh, but other than that, the station looks absolutely amazing. It's very retro, very cool looking. Even though the gondolas are stopped, it's still beautiful to see them all the way across our glass lake here. You just see a little bit of shadows in the water. Once that sun starts shining down, that is gonna be really beautiful reflection. Looks like the Skyliner restrooms are just about complete as well. You can see they have the sign out front and the building looks exactly like the station itself. So you can pretty much use the restroom right here and it's just a short walk down the Generation Gap Bridge and right to the station there. Got some very large turtles here in Hourglass Lake. Look at the size of him. That's pretty cool. He's hanging around too. So it does look like they're most definitely shut down for the evening, but still got some really beautiful views of the gondolas inside. Again, the station does look very complete. And there's that view. Yeah, I got a little reflection there at least. See the yellow reflecting in the water and the red, or that's purple, I'm sorry. That looks incredible. Get another pretty view from the Pop Century side here. Zoom in a little bit towards the station. It's beautiful to look out into the lake with all the flowers and then through the trees. Okay, I think this is the last shot we're gonna get over here from the Pop Century side. It's a nice wide shot. You can see all the gondolas looking amazing over Hourglass Lake. There's the pontoon boat parked over on the Art of Animation side. Looks like we got some heavy clouds starting to roll in here, so I'm probably gonna to try to beat the rain. All right, like I said, I'm gonna to try to beat the rain and get out of here, but we had a great time here today. Got to see all these amazing uncovered gondolas and how gorgeous they are over Hourglass Lake. Got to see the station and the pontoon boat where that's parked over there. That was really cool. So if you guys enjoyed this, definitely subscribe to Passport to the Parks. I do appreciate that. And hit that like button and leave some comments. I always love to try to answer you guys' questions. Visit PassportToTheParks.com. You can see all kinds of great information there as well. And until the next time, we will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.